Okay, this is day seven halter breaking. Uh, yesterday, or tomorrow will be uh, a week ago that we got them. So tomorrow is Monday and it'll be a week ago. <coughs> As you can see, we don't have any other animals tied over here today. So the girls have gotten their food. The goal now is to walk them to their food. They're out of hay, so the girls will be getting them hay soon. But right now, we want the heifers to know that we provide food. The best way to um, a, a cow's heart is through their stomach. So uh, they are not uh, super excited about being caught, but it is a little bit easier to catch them now that there's a drag lead on. So when we're walking them, it shouldn't be constant pressure. It should be nice and easy. And as you can see, they're learning to walk with the pressure of the lead. And it's been a week. <laughs> That's why we have soap and water, right? Okay, so if you heard, both of the girls said, whoa, when they got to their food. It's not like they were going to keep going. They were going to stop to eat. But every time the heifers stop and they stop, they say, whoa. And it's teaching them voice commands. A voice command, it doesn't matter what you use, but it's super important. Make sure to use the same thing every time, even if it's meant, uh, even if it was on purpose or not. So, like, for instance... They just stopped. Well, they were going to stop anyway. It didn't matter if the girls told told the heifers to stop or not. They were going to stop anyway. So the girls used the command, whoa. So the heifers, hi, Hazel, would learn that whoa mean, means stop. And it comes in handy in the show ring when you need them to stop. Hey, little booger. Now, they don't like me too much because I don't handle them. Like I had said in an earlier uh, previous video, the adults don't do the halter breaking here. The kids do. And we're scooping poop. Now, this is day seven in the afternoon, Sunday evening. So, that is day seven halter breaking. As you can see, they walked them to their food. Eventually, we will be walking them out of this pen to their food, most likely out here somewhere and letting them eat there or maybe tied over there somewhere um, but at, at some point we do start walking them to food and walking them to water so they know they learn how to walk on a lead and then after that we'll start um, teaching them the show stick and teaching them how to behave in the show ring meaning keeping their head up and getting their feet set up uh, very soon we'll also be tying them with their heads up a little higher to build up neck muscles so they can keep their head up in the ring those horns get a little big so and heavy so if they don't have strong enough neck muscles then once their horns start getting really big um, in the show ring where show standards are concerned they um, they won't hold their head up very well Lots of touching and talking. Now, Sarah does seem to be a little more chill and relaxed than Hazel, but Hazel's definitely coming around and learning that there's no no pain coming from these, these humans. All right, that's halter breaking day seven.